Good morning from Rishikesh. Yes, I'm still here in Rishikesh, um, but not for long. Um, I'm going to be making my way um, out of Rishikesh very, very shortly. The time is about, well, but it's roughly about nine o'clock in the morning. I've been up since seven and I have a bus to catch. Um, my bus is going to Delhi. Um, the bus leaves at 10 past 11. Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to do is just going to show you guys what it's like to be traveling around by bus any sort of transport, but today by bus um, to another destination here in India. Um, I've got all my bags packed, as you can see, or bag. And I've come into a little bit of a dilemma. Um, so my original plan was to leave Rishikesh and from Rishikesh go north up to a place called Amritsar. Amritsar um, has a a golden temple there, the Sikh golden temple. It also has a border um, ceremony every single night. It's right on the border with pa Pakistan. I did know that the one time I might land up in a bit of a glitch would be here regarding transport. I've been looking for the last couple of days and I cannot find anywhere or any bus or train really that's, that's, that's doable to get from here in Rishikesh up to Amritsa. So I've had to make a decision. I've got to make my way back to Delhi, where I originally came from um, when I came here to Rishikesh. And then, I don't really know. <laughs> and that is genuine. I don't really know where I'm gonna actually land up tonight or tomorrow. I've got three options, really. So I can go to Delhi, which I'm going to, it's a six hour bus drive. So I get to Delhi. I can then look at buses possibly that are gonna be going to Amritsar overnight, um, which would be something like another eight, nine hour coach ride on top of the six one, six hour one that I'm just gonna be doing. Um, that's option one. Option two, I could stay in Delhi for the night sleep on it and think and maybe get a bus the next day to run mitts or possibly a train or there's option three <laughs> so option three is after Amritsar I originally planned to go down to Rajasthan um, and to start in a place called Jaipur um, so I could get to Delhi I could have a look at the buses which are going to Jaipur and then after the six hour bus ride back to Delhi I could then move on to Jaipur in another bus or train. I genuinely don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride just to show you, as I say, what it's like to be traveling around with the backpack on all around India. Um, so I better get cracking. I need to check out this hotel first and I'll see you in a while. Okay, so the long journey begins. I've got to walk down this hill down to the, the, the main part here in Tapavan, which is right next to Rishikesh. Um, it's about a 15 minute walk. Um, jump into a um, rickshaw and then go to the bus station. And there's some donkeys just past me, maybe on their way to school. Right, okay. Off we go. The magical mystery tour. Quite appropriate, as it's a Beatles song. Okay, I've arrived at the um, the Rishikesh bus station. Here, it's a place called Nepali Farm. Um, it's under actually an underpass. 
um, there's a motorway above me. Um, I've got to wait here for about 50 minutes for my bus to arrive. And my advice would be to anybody that's travelling around anywhere in the world, um, is always get to your bus station or your mode of transport early. Always get there 45 minutes, an hour, even an hour and a half behind. Especially here in India. And especially if it's a train station. Because they are so hectic from morning to night. So the best advice I can give, always get there early, park your bum up somewhere, have something to eat, have a drink and just wait. Make sure everything's fine. Because if not, I have seen people getting on the wrong buses, wrong trains, missing trains. Um, it's always best to do that. So I'm going to sit down, I'm going to go over to the road, to the shop, get myself um, a cup of chai, Indian tea, something to eat, and then wait for the bus to come here. Right, see you then. Okay, right, we're about two hours into the bus journey. Um, we're in the middle of, well, I don't actually know, in the middle of nowhere. We've stopped at a service station um, for some food, to go to the toilet, for some drink. Um, as I say, yeah, about two hours into, about another four hours left. If you noticed by the, the uh, on the bus where I'm traveling, the, the, um, it's, I'm in like a two-seater. It's got air con. Um, there's different classes in India on all the modes of transport. Um, so on the trains and the buses you have uh, transport modes, i.e. AC, air conditioning. You have non-AC, non-air conditioning. You have sleepers. You have deluxe, super deluxe. There's, there's, very different var there's a lot of different variants of um, tr uh, transport, of seats and beds in Indian transport. Um, the bus I am on, it is AC, it had the little fans, I'm not sure that they're actually working, um, but the AC above me is working. Um, so yeah, I was just going to show you a little bit around where we are now. Um, you've got to be very careful, as I say, just booking tickets in India on the, on the different types of transport. If you've got a little bit of money extra, I, I, would, yeah, I, I would advise to go with, with AC um, and not non-AC. I, I've been on all different types of, of modes already here, on the trains, I've been on sleeper trains um, and you know it was pretty packed that was non-AC and it, well, it just had the fan. I, I do prefer the AC, it doesn't cost too much more. Um, so basically, you know, it's very difficult to tell on, on the type of journey and how long the journey is. But if you had um, an extra, say in English, five pound, in, in American, an extra six dollars, you would get um, AC on a longer journey than you would non-AC. Um, a little bit extra class, um, you know, riding along. Okay, so I'm just going to show you now, just the service station where we are. As I say, absolutely no idea where we are. The motorway is back that way. I'll just spin it around. So here, we have the Punjabi New Star restaurant, and there's the chef. You can hear the, uh, the lorries beeping away, my god they're so loud. Sweet lassi, if you fancy a lassi. Tandoori tea, and wali lassi. Let's just walk around here. So inside these gates here is where the actual restaurant is. I've just kicked a rock. So there is the actual restaurant. This side here. There he is. Mr. Punjabi himself. And the washrooms and the motorbike stands. Right, okay guys, that's it for the, the service station pit stop. Um, I'm going to just go to the toilet. 
I'm going to grab something to eat, a little bit of a drink, pop back onto the bus, and uh, I'll see you in a while. Right, okay, I've made it to Delhi. Believe it or not, I actually got here about an hour earlier than what they said. So I arrived, it's a, a five hour journey. And normally it's a six, but I think the traffic wasn't too bad. So, well, yeah, we arrived here an hour early, which is something pretty amazing for India, to be fair. Uh, they dropped us off at, I have no idea, some coach park. Um, the coach park was more like a, a waste dump. Um, it was just rubbish everywhere. I've managed to find my way back out. I'm now at the main bus station in Delhi. Um, Kashmiri Gate is called. So now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, I've got the three options, as I mentioned before. I really want to go to Amritsar. So first of all, I'm going to try. I'm going to go into the bus station, see what uh, buses are going. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a couple later this evening. Um, and then I'll find out. Let's, let's have a look. I'll, Let's go and have a look anyway. I'm a, I'm a bit muddled up, but yeah, let's find out. And which is number one choice. I'm in Delhi. That's the main thing. On to the next one. Okay. <laughs> very nice, he said. Very nice. Okay. This Kashmiri gate. They have all the security measures going on. Let's have a little walk down here. This is the back end of the bus station. Aha, look what we have again. Good old Burger King. Right guys, I've got an update for you. Okay, so I got in to the Delhi main bus station and there was no buses whatsoever for the main place I wanted to go to, which is Amritsar. Um, I'm then thinking, I don't know what to do really. Do I go to Jaipur? Do I stay in Delhi? The other two choices that I said earlier. I then just, I thought I'd give it a try. I tried one of the apps, it's called Red Bus. I tried it, I put all the information in. There is like a smaller bus going tonight at 8.45. Previously, when I've used this app, it's never worked. Uh, it wouldn't take my payment. This time, I tried it and bingo. I've got it, I've had to download a couple of other apps. Um, but yes, I've got the ticket for Amritsa. It leaves at 8.45 tonight, it picks me up from here at Kashmir Gate. It arrives in Amritsa at 10 past six in the morning. So yeah, it's a hell of a long journey. So if you think I started this morning, I left Rishikesh, oh lovely. I left Rishikesh at nine o'clock my hotel this morning. I won't be arriving until 10 past six tomorrow morning in Amritsa. That's all part of the fun, all part of, of the traveling. Um, I love it, to be honest. You can see so many different more places out the windows on these trains and buses, places that you've never seen before. I've got a few hours to, to kill before the actual bus does pick me up here. Um, but success, Amritsa, here we come. Happy, happy. We can do this also. Cheers. Okay, it's time to hop our state on a mini bus. <laughs> yes, yeah, so on a mini bus transfer, which is going to take us. I'm still in Delhi, going to take us over to the main coach. Uh, just had a beer, as you could just see in the last clip. Met a guy. Um, we just had a, a chat about travelling. He loves travelling. He's just come from Amritsar. I'm going to Amritsar. He's going home. Fantastic. It's great meeting people on the road, on a road trip. Fantastic. 
So yeah, next stop, the coach to Amritsa. It's getting to be a very long day, but it's great. Right, the time now is 9 p.m. Just been dropped off a mini bus to wait for the next bus, the main bus to Amritsa in the middle of nowhere in Delhi. I certainly haven't missed this in Delhi. Totally different from Rishikesh. Um, just over the wall here, you see there's local kids in the playground having a Saturday night, well, play around. Fantastic. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the AC sleeper bus on route to Amritsa. A little bit snug in here. <laughs> Some retreats, crisps, bottles of water, of course. That's my feet at the end. Curtains on each side and the view out onto the motorway. Off we go. And me, tired, tired, tired. The time, half past ten. Okay, I've had about, I had about an hour earlier sleep in the bus. But I am gonna get my head down here very soon. But well deserves rest. Right, so now, the time is about half past two in the morning. Uh, it's been a long, long day, a long, long road trip. Um, we've stopped at another service station now. No idea where we are. It's a pretty nice service station. Um, but as soon as I get back onto that bus, I am going to go to sleep. Trust me. I'm knackered. I'll show you the service station. <laughs> Pretty cool. And there is the bus. The bus to Amritsa. Oh yeah. Right, okay guys, that's it. The time is quarter to seven in the morning. If you can see that, it's quarter to seven. I've just been dropped off the bus and I'm here in Amritsa in the state of Punjab. Finally made it after leaving at nine o'clock yesterday morning. My, vo my voice is a bit croaky. Um, it took nearly 22 hours, one rickshaw, two coaches, one minibus, and plenty of, um, well, meeting people along the way and plenty of sights that I've seen. Um, it's been a, an experience, it's just to show you guys what it is like traveling around on bus like this in India. 
yeah, it's been an experience and it's been great. So all I have to do now, a quarter to seven in the morning, here in Amritsar, only one thing left to do is find myself a hotel. <laughs> so off we go, find a hotel. I will see you again very soon here in Amritsar. See you then.